Good morning, people. Watch him at 65. Lisa Boyce here, along with Delilah. If she can show her face. Delilah. Delilah. Here she is. Samson's running around. Okay, guys, listen. I'm going to give you the gospel, but I'm going to tell you something. Those of you who want to play games with the gospel, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you don't get saved, the news is getting grimmer. But as the news gets grimmer for the world, the news gets better for the church because that shows how close we are to the rapture. If you don't get saved, you're going to get caught up in all of this and it's going to get worse and worse and worse as it is now. Now what I'm going to give you is the simple gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Christ died for our sins, spilled his blood, was buried, and rose again on the third day, and was seen by thousands after he rose, according to scripture. He did that for our past, present, and future sins. He took away the sins of those who believe in him. He took care of it at the cross. We are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. There is no other way to describe it. We are saved strictly by grace. Grace is a gift, not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man should boast. The only requirement for salvation is to believe in the finished work of Christ. He finished it at the cross. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. I'm paraphrasing Romans 10 because someone reminded me yesterday, Lisa, you should give that. And I forget. And I'm glad they reminded me because it's true. John 3.16 says, Whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. The key word to salvation and assuring that you are going to be rapture ready is believing. That's the only requirement. If you're worried about blaspheming the Holy Spirit and you're saved, you haven't worried, you haven't done it. The only person who can blaspheme the Holy Spirit is those who don't believe. Blaspheming is unbelief. As simple as that. We are born again by Jesus Christ. Once we accept Christ as Savior, you are born again. You are sealed until the day of redemption. There is no turning back. There is no taking away your salvation, period. When you accept Christ as Savior, you believe in him. You trust him. Your faith is in him and the blood that he shed for you at the cross. It don't get no simpler than that. We are in what's called the dispensation of grace. We are in Paul's gospel. Handed down by Christ himself to Paul. Which means the only requirement is believing. This is the easiest time to get saved. And if you don't get saved and go through all this stuff that's going to happen and going to befall the earth, you have no one to blame but yourself. And your stupidity. Because that's exactly what it is. There is no reason in the world right now why a person can't get saved. Or should. They should get saved. And if you don't believe in Christ and what he did for you at the cross, and you believe that you have to come like my mom always told me, oh, you can't be saved like that. You have to come to him. You have to be right before you come to Christ. You know, she's wrong. And she's lost too. That's not true. But you can't tell her anything, just like some other people. You can tell them the truth, but you can't make them accept it. I'm telling you right now, I'm giving you a fair warning. Get saved. Because the rapture is a lot closer than what people think. And it's a lot of people that aren't, aren't, are not prepared for what's coming. The rapture is a lot closer. Every president has been, has had a disaster in their career. Every president has had a disaster. I think Trump was the ultimate. 
The biggest disaster that's going to come is the rapture of the church. Because when millions and millions of people disappear, there is no agency and no government that's going to know what to do. And it's going to devastate everybody. Get saved. I'm telling you. I'm going to give you this article. I actually... <laughs> This news is bad. This news is really, really bad. Um, that major cyber attack that's happening against the U.S. is being called a grave threat. It goes on to say, and this is off of End Times headlines. They got it off of a, a, so, uh, AP. It goes on to say that the federal authorities express ex increased alarm Thursday about a long undetected intrusion into the U.S. and other computer systems around the globe that officials suspect was carried out by Russian hackers. I got my own theory about that. I don't think it, if it was Russia, it wasn't just Russia. The nation's cybersecurity agency warned of a grave risk, excuse me, to government and private networks. Um, the hack compromised federal agencies and critical infrastructure and listen to this. In a sophisticated attack that was hard to detect and will be difficult to undo. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency said in an unusual warning message the Department of Energy acknowledged it was among those that had been hacked. The attack, if authorities can prove it, was carried out by Russia, as experts believe, creates a, for, a fresh foreign policy problem for Donald Trump in his final days in office. Trump, whose administration has been criticized for eliminating a White House cybersecurity advisor and downplaying Russia interference in 2016 presidential election, has made no public statement about the breach. But listen to this. Sleepy Joe and Kamala will make will be dealing with this when they make office. Yeah, they they're going to deal with it, all right. They're going to deal with it. Sure. Let me give you this bit of news. Employers can bar unvaccinated employees from workplace. We knew that was coming. We definitely knew that was coming. They can actually bar people in, in, uh, in the workforce, unvaccinated people, from taking, from working, if they don't have this vaccine. That's what's happening, and the fact that Mike Pence is now on live TV... I don't know whether it happened now or whether it's happening. He's about to take the vaccine on live TV. I just got that notification too. Folks, I'm telling you, you better get saved. Or if you know somebody, talk to them. You can give them the truth about the gospel. Hope they accept before it's too late. Because once the church is gone from here, you will have a second chance to get saved. But it's going to cost you your life. Because once the church is raptured, the great tribulation will start. And this is a prime time for it to happen with everything that's going on. I'm going to link this article in the description box and I'll be back later. Thank you.